Hey y'all, I just want to take a minute to speak about the importance of slowing down, going at your own pace, and why this is critically important for a life of longevity and health. So earlier this year, I went to a new place and I fell in love with it and I thought it was amazing and I was like, I must move here. Now, for anybody that's watched my YouTube channel for a long time, you know that I did this when I moved to Kauai. I visited Kauai one time, fell in love, and then 11 months later, I found myself divorced, sold a lot of my belongings, and I moved to an island where I knew not a single person. While it was incredibly thrilling and exhilarating and absolutely over the rainbow magical fun, it was also one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. That move alone was incredibly stressful, took so much energy and so much time. It literally felt like I was moving through like the birth canal. It was just, you can't go back once you start you can't turn back because it's just, you have to move through it. It's so intense. But once I got there, it was incredible. It was also different than my expectations. So I learned a lot of lessons, needless to say. But that's another story for another day. So anyway, I found a new place that I loved and I really want to move there. And I had that fire ignite within me, that inspiration, that go, 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 like we got to get this, we got to get this. And I had this plan and I was going to have X amount of money saved up and I was going to move by X date. And well, the day came and went when I was supposed to have my savings and I haven't yet approached the date that I wanted to move. However, I hit the brakes a little bit and I slowed down and I asked myself, whoa, 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 Maddie, I know we've done this in the past, but don't you think we could slow down and do it better? And I really, really want to caution people when it comes to going after your dreams. You do need that zest. You do need that fire, that inspiration, and you do have to take action on it. However, you should go at your pace. I've now decided it would be a smoother transition for me to move with no particular date in mind. I just know that I will end up in this place that I want to move to. I would like to have X amount of savings, but I couldn't get it by the date I had set in the past. Why don't I allow myself to accumulate that in my own time where I feel comfortable, I feel set up, and I feel ready to go after it? Because here's the thing, you can do what I did in the past when I moved to Kauai and you can sell all your stuff and you can cut ties and you can just go for it and move across the ocean. However, there is a huge cost. It is stressful. You lose a lot of things and people along the way. And it's just a lot of pressure that you don't need to put yourself under necessarily. Any move is going to be stressful, but isn't it worth your peace of mind to slow it down a little bit, go at your own pace, be a little bit more comfortable? If you have both options, why don't you just take the second one, right? So that's what I decided to do. I decided, who am I moving for? I'm moving for me. Why do I have to move by this date? Well, because I don't want to be stuck where I'm at. Okay, valid. Do I have to be there by this day? Because here's the thing. If I moved by X date, which is coming up in the future, there are definitely some things that I wouldn't have in alignment, like housing situation. I might have to hop around and live with friends for a while. I might have to live in my car for a while. These are things I've done before. And these are things I could do again. However, that was incredibly stressful before. I didn't like putting pressure on other people. I didn't like putting that kind of stress and pressure and anxiety over myself. So maybe I don't have to move there at that particular time. Maybe I can set myself up better. And this is something I wanted to share with everyone because all you have to do is get the inspiration for your dream of what you want and allow God's timing, allow the universe's timing to bring it to you into your experience at the right time. Because the universe knows you better than you do. And why try to rush your dream and have the cost of added stress and anxiety, which will actually decrease your level of enjoyment when you actually get the dream? Why not take a little extra time, prepare yourself, care for yourself, nurture yourself, do the research, sell your stuff, pack your things, save up your money, do these things to fully prepare yourself so when the move happens or when the dream happens, you're completely ready, you're as stress-free as possible, and you are so much more open to actually taking in and experiencing what's unfolding before you. This same thing goes with relationships. You know, if you're trying to manifest your dream partner, like your, like your life partner, right? Do you really want to rush yourself or your partner in that matter, I'm telling you from personal experience, you don't. You don't wanna settle for mediocrity. You don't wanna rush yourself for something that you're not ready for or something that someone else isn't totally ready for either. Again, trust God's timing. Trust the universe's timing. The universe knows you better than you do. And something that is built to last a lifetime is worth the effing wait. I'm trying not to swear. It's so much better to wait 
for something great than to just rush it. I think about this with food. Sometimes when I'm hungry and I'm out, I think, well, I could go and get fast food and it would take like less than 10 minutes to get this food, right? And I'd have food quickly. However, if I go to the grocery store if I need to, or if I just go all the way home, take time to actually cook the meal. Not only does that food taste amazing, it was made with love. It's incredibly healthy, plant-based, anti-inflammatory, healing food. It's good for me, good for my body. I got to enjoy it and all it took was a little effort a little time. So I want you to carry that with you. I want you to think about that. Let's not rush this year. This is a year of abundance. This is a year of dreams coming true. Take your time and enjoy the ride. Have a beautiful day, friends, and have a wonderful week ahead. And always remember to stay grounded.